Well, hello friends, this is Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today, oh my goodness, look at all of these beautiful, bold colors on these cards. I have had so much fun playing with this is, well, all of these cards are featuring, this is the Night Before Christmas. It's a six by six designer series paper pack. And you can see, I kind of fan these out. Some of them might be upside down, but I think these for the most part are a lot of the sides that I used on the cards. And then here are the back sides. So you've got just lots of beautiful, bold kind of imagery and colors on this awesome pack of designer series paper. Now, I will tell you, I don't normally show so many cards like this, but I had so much fun. Basically, I went through this pack of paper and picked out my favorite patterns that I thought would work really well on the card bases. Um, I also looked, and this is in very teeny tiny print. I'm going to grab my glasses and pop them on so that you can see. So in the catalog and on our packages of paper, you can see the coordinating colors of cardstock and ink that are going to work with the patterns um, and colors in our designer series paper. So for this pack, I just literally pulled um, my cardstock in Cherry Cobbler, Crumb Cake, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Poppy Parade, Pretty Peacock, and Very Vanilla. And that's how I built my card bases. So for example, on this card, I had this piece of designer series paper, and I can see I liked the Poppy Parade and the Mossy Meadow. I thought those worked really well on this card. I also used, this is some of our crushed curry, so you can see the crushed curry kind of in some of the little stockings there. I used our crushed curry seam binding ribbon. And then I used a number of different stamp sets. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you kind of what I used for each of these cards, and then I'm gonna make one for you. And I'm gonna show you how simple and easy it is. And I have seven different cards here. You have four different, well, four sheets of each of these um, pieces of different of designer series paper. So right here, seven times four, you could make 28 cards, plus I've got one more, so that's eight, so that'd be 32 cards you could make, super simple, and they're so fun and bright and bold and beautiful. So like I said, I'm gonna kind of scoot these out of the way and I wanna show you kind of one by one what I used on these cards. So like I said, for this one I used the, this is the fun crushed curry seam binding ribbon. Just wrap that around, made a pretty bow. And I used our snowman season stamp set. So you're gonna see, I used a number of different stamp sets, but you could, if you don't have all of these, just use what you have. Or if you wanna buy them all, go ahead and do that because they're all super fun, cute stamp sets too. But so I used the Merry Christmas right there on that card. The other thing that I used was the um, Holiday Rhinestones. You can see I used just a couple of them right down there in the corner. These are the Holiday Rhinestones. If you don't have these yet, you I don't know what you are waiting for. And the fun part is, and they come in kind of a dark blue, a light blue, a green, a red, and kind of a yellowy orange. And you can kind of bend these colors to whatever you need them to be. So they're, while, you know, maybe you think of that as Night of Navy, you can put it on a pretty peacock card and it kind of turns into pretty peacock blue instead. So I'll show you that as we go through these cards as well. Okay, so there's the first one. The other fun thing that I did was on the inside of the card, I used, this is the back side. So this little stocking paper, the back side has the stripes on it. So on each of them, I kind of added just a little strip of, and it's basically off of the edge of this paper. The other thing I should tell you guys too, is all of these cards, the base measures four and a quarter by 11 inches, and then I scored it at five and a half inches. Then I used a piece of solid cardstock, in this case, Poppy Parade, that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then I cut my designer series paper to three and three quarter by five inches. So you can see I had a big strip kind of around here and here that was left over. And then I just cut a little one by four piece to pop on the inside of my card. Also the layering on the inside here is all four by five and a quarter, very vanilla cardstock. Okay, so that's the first one. Here's another fun one. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little tickle in my throat. So, and I kind of went with sentiments that I thought worked with the designer series paper. So obviously this one says, sending you a cup of cheer. On this one I use, this is the combo pack, the come together ribbon combo pack, the kind of crumb cake. I thought that worked really well with the crumb cake background on that one. And I used the cup of Christmas stamp set, that sentiment right there, sending you a cup of cheer, because I thought that was perfect 
on this card, right? Um, again, on the inside, I and this one I did kind of a strip down here because sometimes either the orientation didn't work or the flip the other side of it just didn't work with the card. So sometimes I use the same side, sometimes I use the opposite. Here's another fun one. This one is Let It Snow, which is again from the Snowman Season stamp set. Super, this is just a fun stamp set to use, right? I used also some of our Merry Christmas, and I've got just a little strip of it left. I've used the entire bolt, all 10 yards, but you can see it says Merry Christmas in kind of a cursive and in a block with in gold letters on a very vanilla ribbon. It's beautiful, perfect for present wrapping, right? Oh, the other thing I should mention is I only used, so in this case on this one, I used a one inch wide strip, four inches by one inch, and then I punched it with our banner triple punch, or I used the layering circle dies. Those are the only punches or dies that I used. So it was mainly just cardstock, which is on sale right now. The regals and the neutrals, which I did use a number of those on these cards as well. It's on sale just for our online extravaganza, Wednesday, November 20th through Friday, November 22nd. So just for three days only. So make sure you order your cardstock too while you can and get um, that at a discount. Um, so yeah, layering circle framelits on there and then a couple more of those fun little dots on that one. And this one I love too, isn't that beautiful? You guys seeing how fun this paper is? Bright, bold, gorgeous, beautiful paper. This one is Night of Navy and Old Olive with our designer series paper, some more of the crinkled seam binding ribbon. This time I used the Seasons Greeting Sentiment that can be found in our Peaceful Bows stamp set, another beautiful stamp set. This was actually my product of the week last week on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. And I will tell you, if you're not already a member of our Facebook group, just search for us, Gathering Ink with a K, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. Search for that on Facebook and ask to become a member. We'd love to have you be a part of our group on there. Um, I get, Again, I use the layering circle framelits and more of, you can see, those I think are kind of orange when you look at them on um, the sheet of rhinestones, but I think they can kind of go like a deep yellow crushed curry there as well. Okay, here's another fun one. This one is a mossy meadow base. Um, cherry cobbler cardstock and then our designer series paper with some of the fun real red which I think it can either be real red or cherry cobbler depending on what it, you need it to be there um, but some of our curly um, real red curly ribbon more of the layering circle framelits and another little holiday rhinestone there right so you're kind of catching a theme right this one starts with a pretty peacock base poppy parade cardstock and then more designer series paper and then this is some of the poppy parade um what is it called what is, oh the textured weave ribbon it's called but you can see how that works really well the beauty right of stampin up is all of our cardstock and ink and ribbon all coordinates perfectly so that you can make beautiful projects simple beautiful projects right in just minutes um this one i used where is that oh i skipped actually let me back up for this guy i used the thinking of you at christmas because i thought oh you know letters sending little um, postcards and letters to people this one is from the itty bitty christmas stamp set you can see that thinking of you at christmas right there right i realized as i was going to grab the next stamp set. So this one, Merry Christmas in Poppy Parade ink is from our Perfectly Plaid stamp set, another great one. You could use many of these sentiments too on these cards, I'm sure. Oh, I may have been forgetting to show you some of the insides too. So this one was that little strip right there too. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna have to just show you. I think this one, yep, I used more of the postcards inside there. I think this one had another, this is the back side. So that's kind of pretty there too. And let's see, did I skip this one? Yeah, and there's the back side of the little Santa hat paper. Okay, so last one to show you guys, and then I'm going to make one for you. And I love, it's like a little Christmas tree farm with the little sparkly lights, right? So again, this is a very vanilla piece. This is one inch wide by four and a quarter, punched with our banner, triple punch, right? Super simple and easy. I stamped the season's greetings this time in Night of Navy to match uh, the designer series paper and the cardstock. I used... The So Many Stars stamp set, The Seasons Greetings. There'd be another 
This would be another good one, um, has a bunch of different sentiments that you could use. I kind of went for big, bold sentiments um, rather than super wordy ones because I really wanted the focus to be on the paper on these cards. This one, I used some of our burlap ribbon because I thought that worked, the kind of crumb cake there worked really well um, with that card. And then here is the inside. This was the back side with the stars, the sparkly stars on the back side of that paper. So isn't this, I mean, so simple and easy. They're all the basic, same basic layout. And then I just maybe changed it up a little bit with the stamps um, and sentiments. And I always matched my ink, right? So this is cherry cobbler ink, cherry cobbler cardstock, cherry cobbler cardstock, and a little cherry cobbler accent in there too. So super simple and easy. Just make your, sure you refer either to our designer series paper, or there's a list in the catalog too, if you didn't keep these packs of paper uh, or the little outsides of them for some reason. So, okay. Let's see, I'm going to scoot these guys over just a little bit so I have some room to work. And I'm going to show you the last one that we are going to make. Let me make sure. All of a sudden I was like, oh no, do I have everything? But I think I do. Okay, <clears throat> so this one, we are going to start again, Cherry Cobbler Card Base. This one measures four and, four and a quarter inches by 11 inches, scored at five and a half inches. Okay. Don't mind me. I got a little bit excited and I already adhered to my paper. So this is my designer series paper. Actually, we'll back up. We have old olive cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then our designer series paper with those fun packages. This one measures three and three quarter by five inches, okay? For the inside of the card, we again used a four by five and a quarter, very vanilla piece. And then this is just a little strip and I love that pattern too. So there's the front, there's the back side. This is just one inch by four inches. And we're just gonna adhere that. So why don't we do that and get that right out of the way? Okay, so we're gonna grab our snail. And I love this. You don't even have to stamp anything on the inside. So you can see how simple the stamping was on these two. Just add this little strip. I've been doing more and more of that. Just adding that little strip of designer series paper to add a little fun on the inside of your card, right? Let me get a little bit more there. Okay, so we're gonna pop that onto the inside of our card, right? Then, actually we're gonna hold off. I'm gonna do my stamping because I want to use, again, coordinating cherry cobbler, very vanilla cardstock. This time I'm going to use, and this is my favorite stamp set right now because it's so fun and bold and kind of whimsical. So we are going to use this one, the Merry and Bright stamp in the Everything Festive stamp set. Okay, so I have my cherry cobbler ink, of course matches my cherry cobbler cardstock. We're going to open that up. Nice and easy. Tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down. I'm going to push firmly to make sure I get all the ink off onto my cardstock, right? So that's it. That's all we have to do for stamping. Now we are going to use the layering circle dies. So I, I was originally going to do some different things and then I realized, no, you know what? I only want to use the layering circle framelits. So you can see how easy it is, right? These, all these different looks that you can get with our layering circle dies, right? And coordinating so well. Right, right, right. Okay, so this time I've got these pulled out here so I knew what I was gonna use. So we are using, in terms of scallops, we have one, two, three. This is the fourth largest uh, scallop edge. And then straight edge, we've got one, actually one, two, three, and it's also the fourth largest straight edge circle, okay? I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. It wasn't where I thought it was going to be and I panicked for a moment, but it, it's here. It was just not where, <laughs> where I was expecting it to be. Okay. So I have my magnetic platform. I'm going to put my cardstock down on here. We're going to do the scallop edge around that one. And this one, as long as it stays on the cardstock on my clear cutting pad we're all set this one I want to line up and make sure I get as many of those little stars as I possibly can I didn't want to use too big of circles because I want to still be able to see um, a lot of that paper so I didn't want to cover it up too much so I went kind of as small and hopefully so there's that the merry and bright and then this one is just going to peek out from behind you can barely even see it but that's okay because like I said, I really wanted to feature that paper on this card. Okay, so we're just gonna grab our adhesive. Just put a little bit around there. Am I moving 
that it was moving my grid paper. I should probably like tack that down or something. Yeah, note to self, maybe I'll do that sometime, huh? Okay, we're gonna grab a couple of dimensionals. And actually, we're not gonna put that on yet because we need to add our real red slash cherry cobbler in my mind, curly red ribbon, okay? So we're just gonna tie a fun bow right around our paper, and it's always on the opposite side of where I need it for some reason, okay? This ribbon is really soft. It's like a cozy sweater almost. I've had a lot of fun with it. You just have to be careful not to play with things too much because it does fray a little bit. Or if you like it frayed, then just rub your fingers all over it and fray it up. Okay, so that looks good there. Now we can add this piece. And you can see I'm adding more adhesive because I've got that ribbon. So it makes it not want to stick maybe quite as well. So you want a good amount of adhesive, make sure that all looks good and then press firmly. And then we're just gonna peel the dimensionals off of the back. And then here is our fun, merry and bright. Isn't that awesome? So can you see how simple and easy? So again, you get four pieces of this designer series paper. So you could make four of each of these cards in no time at all. Look at, oh my gosh, I don't even, how fun are these, huh? Don't you just love them? I think I do, I know I do right there. Now you guys can see them all, right? So I will include all of the details, all the item codes, product names, everything that you need to order any of these products. Start with that awesome designer series paper, right? Which actually has been Again, on our Facebook group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, this night before Christmas paper has been our product of the week. So we've shared some fun um, ideas and things with our designer series paper. The other thing I do is I always do two projects on Facebook Live featuring our product of the week. So that's every Friday, most every Friday at 11.30 a.m. on our Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. So join us anytime. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom of the video. And I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, comments, uh, anything you need to know, let me know. Uh, send me a message. And make sure if you are ready to order any of the products that I used on these projects, make sure you grab the host code from my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. When you shop online and use that host code, you always get those two cards that I um, demonstrate on Facebook Live and your name goes into a drawing that I do each week on Facebook Live. Plus, it gets even better. If you bump your order up to at least $50, I always send you a free embellishment in your thank you package. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you were ink inspired today. I hope you run out and order this paper because it's just so cute and fun. Look at this fun goodness on these cards. So thanks for watching guys. We'll see you soon. Bye everybody.